Alright, what's good fellas? We are back again with another video, and if you already read the title, then you already know what we're doing. But if for some reason you clicked this video and you didn't read the title, we're gonna be making a song like Ken Carson in about 10 minutes, or at least we hope so. So we got the new mic, and I also got a new Elgato light, so we're testing out some new things. Let me know what you guys think of the quality of this video. If it looks better, if it sounds better, let me know. But the entire point of this video is gonna be super simple. We're gonna start with a loop from my Discord server, so if you're not in that, go down and click the link in the bio to join the Discord server, because I'm gonna start doing a lot of videos like this where I use your guys' loops and stuff like this. Shout out my boy Dev, he's mod in the server, and we're gonna be using his loop today, and it just sounds crazy. But then we're gonna make the beat, do the drums, and I'm gonna pull up the Ken Carson vocal preset, which is is available at quintababa.com and we're gonna try and make a song in the style of ken carson so let's do it all right so i just opened a fresh version of fl studio so we're gonna pull up the loop right now that i just downloaded and here we go so we got 147 and it is an mp3 so we're gonna remove this silence and all you do to do that is click s on your keyboard it'll pull up this little slide tool and you hold alt on your keyboard and it'll allow you to just slide out that little silence in the beginning and we'll go to like right there and now we're set up perfectly. We'll just set the BPM to 147. And we're going to put this on stretch. And then I'm going to bring it up to like 150. Do 152 for now. And then this is a pretty loud sample. So we're going to turn the volume down. And then we're just going to chop it up. All right, so I just chopped everything up. And we're just going to bring it all to the front like this. Okay, so what we're going to do is just route this to mixture track number one. And we're going to add a fruity parametric EQ. Oops, let's take that down. And we're just going to put a low cut on there. Just so when we add that 808, it doesn't clash with everything. We're gonna cut around like 120 hertz, that should be good. And let's just listen to what we got. All right, so we're gonna keep this because I have an idea for using this later. Actually, we're just gonna go like this and we'll also have that in the beginning. And then we're just gonna loop this main part right here and add in the pattern. And we're just gonna get started on the drums here. So it says it's in B minor, so so that's good to know, just so when we do the 808, we know what notes we could put in. But I'm gonna go over to my Cyber Drum Kit. And if you don't have that yet, you might as well go cop it because it's like some of the best drums for Ken Carson, Yeet, and like all that type of music. We're gonna open the drum kit and we're gonna grab a snare actually. All right, let's turn this up a little bit. I'm also gonna bring the volume up here and we'll just do some pattern like this. <laughs> Duplicate that over for eight bars and let's get started on a hat. So we'll go to the i hats here. Just do fill each two steps for now and then we're gonna go to the piano roll and just mess around and see if we could add some rolls. <laughs> perfect we're gonna duplicate that over for eight bars and then we're gonna get started on some open hats so i'm looking for something long here so we could adjust the envelope settings and kind of make it sound more realistic so i'm gonna bring this one in right here then we're gonna go to the envelope settings and set it just like this just so it holds for how long you press the key for for example as soon as we let go the sound stops i also want to add something like this just turn it down a bit and pan it to the left <laughs> Get that over. And then we're gonna go back to the longer open hat and just see if we could add something cool here. All right, so that's perfect. That's a good bounce. I like where we're going so far. And now we're just gonna get an 808. I'm thinking we're gonna do two here. One like longer, like real dirty 808. And then one shorter, more like Zay style. I'm gonna start with church. And uh, we're just gonna turn that up a little bit and we're gonna set the envelope settings just like this. Actually, we're going to reset that. Um, and then, like I said earlier, it's great that we know the samples in B minor because now we could go to the 808 piano roll right here, bring this drop down menu down, and we'll go to the view scale highlighting and we'll set it to B minor. So now we know exactly where to put our notes, or we just have a better representation for where to go. So we're going to start at B, obviously. Bring this up a little bit. We finally got an 808 pattern down and this is what it sounds like after this we're gonna go through and try and add another one but this is what we got for now i ended up switching it to a spins 808 as well <laughs> I 
so now we're going to clone this 808 and just grab something like all right, this one called Twizzy. We're going to put it right here. Let's duplicate it over, see how it sounds. <laughs> pretty much all we need for now so now what we're gonna do is just split that pattern up so we actually have a little bit more control so we're gonna go like this and i'm actually not gonna arrange the beat yet what we're gonna do is just pull up that ken carson preset so i'm gonna right click the mix track go to file and we're gonna go to my ken carson preset i'm gonna be using the waves version so i'm just gonna add the main vocal so you have the hook right here and when i made this preset this style just did not have any reverb on it so i'm gonna show you guys how you actually bust out reverbs so you're gonna click your main track where you want the reverb and we're gonna do a reverb right here and a delay and we're just gonna pull the reverb to zero and the delay to zero. And I'm just gonna use our verb here. Actually, no, we're gonna use Valhalla just cause it's super easy. You can pretty much just use the default settings, but we're gonna go to plates right here and we're gonna grab the vocal plate and we're just gonna bring this decay up to like three seconds. Bring that low cut up as well. And then we're gonna click F2 to color this. Let's go with red, set that and we're gonna call this verb. Then I'm gonna add the H delay here. And for now, we're just gonna go to, we're gonna bring the feedback down, bring the high pass up a bit. And we're gonna put this to a one fourth step and we might as well ping pong it. And then I just like turning this analog sound off cause there's just no point for it. Then we're gonna bring the reverb up a bit and the delay up a bit as well. Let's also rename and color the delay, make it yellow and call it delay. There we go. So now I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like when you actually enable this live. And we're just going to freestyle some hooks and stuff and see if we can get a song going. Also, if you have the new FL Studio, a huge feature in this is if you right click and go to uh, where is it assigned to new audio track. What this does is it assigns it right here. So now you could put your input on and then you're going to be able to hear yourself. So now we can hear ourselves with the Ken Carson vocal preset. Let's turn the delay off and stuff. Bring this NS1 up a little bit. And we also have to set the auto tune to B minor. And now let's see if we can get some little freestyles going. So now what I'm going to do is right click, go to file, save mix track site as, and we're going to duplicate that over and just make an ad loop track here. So what I'm going to do is increase the chorus and we're going to make sure we click this button here. We're going to have a bunch of reverb on this, a bunch of delay. Then we're going to kind of just shape this like that. And then we're also going to go to file or assign new audio tracks. And then you just click F2, all this ad loops, boom. Yeah, yeah, I said yeah. I said, yeah. You can't stop us. You can't stop the way we moving cause that's bad love You can't stop all these feelings that you have for us You can fake it, you can't hide it, but it's real love I said, yeah. All right, after a little bit, we finally got a decent hook down. So if you guys want to see me finish this, let me know. But what I'm going to do right now is just apply my massive preset and make this, you know, loud and sound good. Then I'm going to play it for you guys. But yeah, if you want to see me finish this, go down, leave a comment, and let me know. But other than that, you guys know what to do. The links are always down in the description if you want to grab this preset. All right, and here is the finished product.